Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming and also welcome to 2024. It's been exactly one year since Terraria 1.4.5 begun development. So to celebrate, we have not one, but two state of the games to talk about. So the first state of the game is one from December, which I didn't even realize they'd post. They posted this a couple of hours before New Year's and it had a pretty exciting spoiler. So in that state of the game, Relogic wrote, Chicken Bones has been with the Relogic Logic team for some time now and as is tradition for team members that have earned their stripes and proven their mettle, it is high time that he received his developer armor. You can catch a glimpse of this awesome new dev set in the knighting ceremony below where Red bestows his highest honor upon Chicken Bones. Take a minute to thank Chicken Bones for all that he does for Terraria and to congratulate him on his honor. So included was a video of Chrono, Grox, Eraser, and Jim watching as Red and Senex knight Chicken Bones with their very own developer's armor. For those that don't know, the developers do have a say in designing their outfit, and as you can see, Chicken Bones has gone for a pretty futuristic scientist look. Now, just to speak to Chicken Bones' credit, I did have the opportunity to play with them back in July when I was invited to that small testing of 1.4.5 and obviously I can't talk about specifics hopefully in the future I can but it went something like this someone would throw out an idea that seemed quite technically hard and the next day it was done like they were just that fast. But honestly, I was in awe that week because that's what everyone at Relogic's like. They're just like on top of their game. Now in the second half of the state of the game, DR spoke about what a great year it's been and also wrote, in the meantime, we have a little festive build for you. One that may or may not contain spoilers enjoy and included was this video here now you all know i'm not a master builder and i won't pretend to be but i think the spoiler is you can now customize presents like there was different styles before but now it's easier to pick same with the small presents and then there's like a new rubble thing <laughs> God, i got no idea like i get it but i don't know how to explain it it's like oh yeah okay this is, this is purely for builders. We all know this. All right then. So moving on to the brand new state of the game, which was posted earlier today. Relogic wrote, Terraria 1.4.5, Slime Evolution and Axaranks. Oh my. What started is a quick and short update to add our side of the Terraria x Dead Cells crossover content has morphed into a much larger update that we've been working on for over a year now. The team is currently going over more plans and ideas in regards to what else might make it into 1.4.5, timelines, etc. More on that later. For now, let's take a sneak peek at another of the tree versus axe war prizes, as well as a bit of slimy goodness. And the first spoiler we gotta talk about is the Axarang. Now we did know that this was coming in the pipeline, but we didn't know what it would look like, and in action, it's very smooth. Truth be told, I felt like cutting down trees was gonna peak with the axe of regrowth, but you know what? I actually think this might be better. Imagine you're in endgame Terraria and you just need a little wood. Are you gonna walk and cut that down with an axe? Nah, right? You're gonna use the axe array. I feel like I will actually keep this on my hotbar. And this second spoiler contains a brand new slime. And I have a bit of a theory about this one. So the slime we can see here is a cloud slime it floats as it jumps and it contains a little bit of cloud block. Is this a slime you'll encounter on the surface during regular gameplay? I don't know. I feel like potentially this slime will only appear on a floating island or maybe it's just something for the skyblock seed. And I say this because in the third spoiler, you can see a slime with a bit of moon glow inside. Now, is that something to make skyblock easier or are the slimes adapting to their environment? I don't know though. Do you have a theory? Let me know down below. And they wrapped up this section by saying 2024 is going to be a great one. We cannot wait to show you more from 1.4.5 in the months to come. All right. So moving on to the second half of this state of the game. This for me is where it gets really good. So DR wrote... Here we are, back again with the latest in regards to development on the console and mobile side of the house. One of the focus areas of 1.4.5 has wound up being in the quality of life space, ways of making things that might be tedious or cumbersome less so. One great example is the collection and storage of dropped items, be they something like fallen stars 
or even an AFK farming setup. The team has introduced the hopper for that very purpose. Shall we see it in action? Now, I don't have to tell you what this is. You've played Minecraft. You know what a hopper is. Finally, we're getting these in Terraria. Like, what? Terraria is about to turn 13 years old. Are you telling me it took 13 years to add hoppers? Well, I have to say, I am very grateful. I am curious though, is the artwork for the hoppers completed? Like, how do we know that it's running? Is it this little bit of machinery down here? Is it a special kind of chest? Uh, I don't really know. And I'd love a better way to know which chest is a hopper or like what even a hopper looks like. But yeah, this is amazing. So that's it for the state of the game, but we do have more. And that's because for the past couple of weeks, every once in a while, the team has shared something new. Now, first off, in response to why not go for 1.5, Senex wrote, we all agreed that if 1.5 were to happen, it would be best to be its own thing. And also later saying it got really close to 1.5 a few times, we even have a dock. So yeah, even though this is the new final, final, like I'll stop, right? It's the new final update. Potentially 1.5 could still be made because it is something that they've actively thought about. Also from Senex, she wrote, it's so nice to hire from within the community. 2024 is off to an exciting start. So yeah, Real Logic has a new member. Now we don't know who that is yet, or what they will be doing. I imagine they're probably in a bit of a trial period. A lot of companies do this. They, you know, let somebody settle in before revealing them publicly. But I wanna know, like, who have you added and what are they doing? But yeah, very exciting. I love that this is once again, another person from within the community, because if you don't know, Relogic is pretty much entirely made of people from the community. Over on Reddit, somebody requested a staff stand and a pet stand so that you can have your pets back at home. And Reb responded to this, this gets requested a lot. I'll see if there are any feasible ways to make it happen. No promises. At the start of the month, Red tweeted out, new Torch God track is fire. Yeah, so you know that mini event that not a lot of people know about, and if you show it to somebody that doesn't play Terraria a lot, they don't even believe? Yeah, that's getting its own music track. Red also tweeted, what am I? What am I? What am I? I am the Torch God. So yeah, potential insight to the song. Now over on the Terraria forums, Red put up a status that said, Axe Gang got two things, and so far, we haven't decided on anything for Tree Gang. What do my fellow saplings want? Someone wrote, a squirrel pet that plants trees and a slingshot that fires acorns. And Reb responded, so far, Handsome Squirrel is winning. And also said, we are discussing the slingshot in dev chat right now. I love the idea. So potentially, that's one item, but what will be the second? Also, over on the Terraria forum, somebody wrote to Red and said, I'm surprised we haven't gotten an Undertale item in the game yet. I feel like Toby would be on board with having his little white dog as a painting or something. With Red responding, maybe I should reach out sometime considering how much the player bases overlap. And finally, somebody asked, what do we call Terraria 1.4.5? Because we've had updates in the past, like Journey's End, Journey's End End, and Labor of Love. And Red responded, we already have a name for it, but its name is a spoiler. So. What do you think it might be? Leave me a comment down below. Now, the final thing I wanna say is that you may have noticed that I haven't been very active recently. In fact, this is my first video of the year. I'm not retiring, I'm not passing over the hill. In fact, I've actually been playing a lot of Terraria. And that's because it is my goal this year to work on a ton of big videos, like really big videos that you can get excited about. Obviously last year, about 80% of my uploads were news videos. And you know, I love making them, but they're short and they're fast. And yeah, I feel like there's a bit of an itching for something bigger. And yeah, in 2024, I will be delivering. I'm very excited about what I've got planned. And it's not all Terraria, although it's like 90% Terraria actually. I've just finished the footage for the first big project. You've seen some of it in the background of this video. So look forward to that. And I'll be working on a bunch more this year. Thank you so much for your support last year, and I'm really excited about the next 12 months. So yeah, hope it's a good one, right? See you in the next one.
Peace.